Well, hello people, Scott Yonker here, and I want to share with you a very handy little trick that could uh, really help give your visitors to your website a much better experience by increasing the readability of your content simply by enlarging the font size. And um, I'm going to demonstrate on my own article I just wrote here. And you can see uh, I got it all formatted, all the pictures and videos inserted and everything. So this is the very last thing I do is uh, once I got it ready to go, is I go back to the dashboard uh, to enlarge the font size. And I switch from visual to HTML mode. Now do not get intimidated by this because trust me, I am not a techie and I don't know HTML code. Uh, but this is something very simple to do and it's better than using the visual plugins that they have for um, changing font size because that's not always very compatible with search engines um, and that can mess up your search engine optimization so it's better to use HTML and again you don't have to be intimidated by this because it's very simple all you do is just insert one little code in here and uh, it's easy to even memorize um, you can always refer back to this video if you forget it but anyway go to the very beginning of where your um, text is and what you see in front of this is just the HTML code for the featured image um, and so after that is the text and so right there at that point you want to add in a little arrow pointing outwards um, and then type in font and then space and then the capital letters the word size S-I-Z-E -E, and then equal sign and then you want to put in quotes number three and you could um, that's the font size you can go number two to go smaller or number four or five to go bigger but I find that number three is perfect size not too big not too small and then you just case that in with um, the other arrow going the other direction uh, just like a typical HTML code is cased in with the arrows pointing outward. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And what that's going to do is, um, well, you could preview the changes once you get that. And you could see that, boom, all of a sudden it's bigger. Isn't that nice? Let's see. Before, you see it here. Before, after. And not only that, but it also enlarges your widget text too. It does the whole page and all the way down. All you have to do is just insert it in the very beginning of your, of your uh, text. Right here is where I put it in on the dashboard. And, and there you have it. Uh, it's not going to change your whole website. Just you have to do it each article at a time. And, and that's it. Now, um, one last thing that you need to know. Uh, otherwise, you could have a problem and you're not sure what happened is that in the event that you um, want to go back and edit your article, which happens to be the case uh, often, usually you wind up going to visual, like I do, and I do whatever editing I need to do, but the problem is is that by the time I do that, it switches back. You can see that HTML code that I put in there, It where'd it go? It's turned into something different here. So what I do is I just I just basically erase that and kind of start over, put in that code font, space, size, and capital letters, and equal sign, quotes, and three, and and then there it is again. It'll be restored, and you can see it's it's back the way you want it, big letters. And this is definitely, so that just that last little tidbit there is something that could leave you confused, uh, wondering why it switched back. Well, that's, that's why for some reason when you switch back to visual, it, um, it goes to uh, some different, it changes. So you just want to make sure this is the last thing you do uh, after you're all done with everything else with your content. And if you ever do, you know, go back to change anything, you just want to make sure that you restore this HTML code so it it keeps that font size that you want. And of course, you could see that this is going to really give your visitors a better experience as they don't have to strain their eyes to read your content. And um, so I know this is 
definitely a good thing uh, for my website, and I'm glad to share it with you and hope that helps. All right, we'll see you on the other one. Bye.